Mayor Ted Wheeler's home demanding his resignation. Meantime, we're learning more about the pro-Trump activist who was shot and killed over the weekend. Matt Finn live for us in Portland. And Matt, what are we learning about what happened last night? Trace, last night was the 96th night of unrest here in Portland. Police say this time a crowd of about 200 people marched to the mayor's condominium tower here in Portland and carried out another violent and dangerous riot. Police say on the way there, some of the rioters lit commercial grade fireworks. They broke windows and burglarized a business, stealing furniture to feed flames. The rioters then lit a fire at the base of the mayor's building. Police declared Declared an unlawful assembly and warned over a loudspeaker to immediately leave the area. Failure to do so may result in arrests and crowd control agents, but rioters did not leave. Police say someone threw burning material through a broken business window, and police are looking for that arson suspect this morning. 19 people were arrested. Now, here in Oregon, the governor has authorized state police to return to Portland to assist the police department, but the head of the police chiefs and sheriffs association wrote a letter back to the governor saying state police will not be sent to Portland because criminal rioters are not being prosecuted or held accountable here. And the acting secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, wrote a strongly worded letter to Portland's mayor saying the mayor's inaction has fueled the violence, writing in part, I urge you to prioritize public safety and to request federal assistance to restore law and order in Portland. We are standing by to support Portland. At the same time, President Trump has made it abundantly clear that there will come a point when state and local officials fail to protect its citizens from violence. The federal government will have no choice but to protect our American citizens. And this morning, police are investigating the shooting death of a man here uh, in the streets of Portland Saturday night, Trace. And what, what else do we know about that victim? Well, police have now identified him as 39-year-old Aaron Danielson. Police tell us that uh, the shooting was caught on video. So far, police have not released the name of a suspect. Danielson is believed to be associated with a conservative group, Patriot Prayer, that was part of a large pro-President Trump group that caravan through Portland Saturday. That group ended up clashing with another one, and Danielson was shot dead in the streets. And we'll keep you updated if they identify a shooter or make any arrests, Trace. Matt Finn, live for us in Portland. Matt, thank you.